What kind of bedside manner do you have in sales? Let's talk about how to make the prospect comfortable, like you, and even trust you. Hey, I had to use this outfit and stethoscope again and get my money's worth, okay? So <laughs> regardless, Dr. Diamond here, you, when you speak to a prospect, you wanna create an environment that makes them so comfortable. If you just go to them and blather away and give a premature presentation with a lot of features and benefits and it's very intellectual, they're gonna to go to sleep, okay? But you, so you wanna make it emotional, but you also wanna make it so that you have the bedside manner. How do we do that? First thing is we, something we call stroking. We give, I go like this in a lot of my videos. That means a sincere compliment. If you just give schmoozing, as we say in New York City, you just give a lot of compliments to, to, to be obvious and win them over, you're gonna get the opposite effect. So you've gotta be a good thespian when you're giving nurture, when you're giving stroking to someone. Nurturing is when you make it, it's like stroking on steroids. You wanna tell a story. You wanna make them, you wanna make the whole process emotional. Most people buy things immediately when they get emotional. So a part of your bedside manner as a super duper doctor gut salesperson is to say things that make them get emotionally involved um, because in, in you, you can combine that with the stroking. The third part of bedside manner and guts is what we call is what we call empathy. You have to be a little bit of a mind reader. You have to think about, gee, what are they thinking? What's, the, what's their biggest concern? What's their worry? What's their trouble? What's their needs and greeds or their pains involved in their situation? And you want to ask questions just like that doctor would. I've done another video. Are you a doctor uh, in sales or are you a free consultant? You want to ask the questions and combine the stroking. Gee, that's a great question, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect. Glad you asked. Nurturing. How do you feel about that? I've had prospects or patients or clients before, and that was very upsetting for them. How do you deal with it, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect? That's not, con that's not your primary concern, is it? Boom. You go in that opposite redirection with your stroking and your nurturing. Then the empathy. Empathy is when you become a mind reader. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, I've had that same situation happen to me. How are you dealing with it? How do you feel about it? A lot of people I talk to have this concern, A, B, and C. Do you want to, would you like to tell me a little bit about that? Boom. You got to have that bedside manner. The prospect will like you. And eventually, if they trust you, you have a blank check. People do business they like and trust. You didn't need me to tell you that. But you have to earn that. And you have to say the right stories, ask the right questions, project the right images in their mind. And you will see magic happen all the time. These are the things you need to practice. Gut sales method is about practicing every day. And with, uh, with, I practice with my students all the time. Um, it, we, um, I practice in real phone calls. Telemarketer has the misfortune to call me. I'm going to torture them. I'm going to practice with them a little bit to hone my skills. I'm going to see if I can get them to like me, to trust me, and want to make a commitment, share information with me, and maybe even buy from me. You can have so much fun if you practice every day these different bedside manner techniques. This is Claude Diamond sharing some guts tips with you. Um, go to my webpage. I, you can schedule a free consultation with me. You can get a free book on guts. You can even call me. I answer my own phone. Go to ClaudeDiamond.com or call 970-281-5151. Take care.